Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN. We're moments away from the kickoff in suburban Washington, D.C. Raul Jean, Maryland. And that's where we've got Dan, Peter, and Susie. As they get set to bring you what should be a good one. New England Patriots, Washington Redskins. It's game time. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hello folks, I'm Dan Stevens, and greetings from Washington Field. My right-hand man, of course, is Peter O'Keefe. Peter, when you look at these two teams, what stands out? Well, Dan, both teams have solid defensive lines. Quarterbacks and running backs better stay on their toes out there if they hope to stay healthy. The Redskins have a big, heavy defensive line, and these guys are so wide that it can be tough to run up the gut on. That weight does slow down their pass rushing a bit, though. The Patriots also have a super-sized defensive line. They're tough to move, and that's always a plus when you're trying to control the line of scrimmage. Both of these groups have a chance to shine. The question is, which one? Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Picking off for the Redskins. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Redskins football. Number 10 boots the opening kickoff. Thornton catches it back at the 1. Back down at the 29. A nice day for football, and ESPN Susie Culver will tell us if it will moving. stay that way. Susie? Thank you, Dan. It's a beautiful, temperate day. The conditions couldn't be better right now for a game of football. Let's send it back to you. Dan? Thanks, Susie. Stevenson, Stevenson takes his first carry Dang, of the game the and will gain close to six. Stevenson played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Davis gets the sack way back at the 29. Davis sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalate. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. And they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short range plays First they might face. Picture. Third and long. Douglas grabs the bullet and finally stopped at the 50. First Douglas faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Stevenson chews up nine yards, and that will bring up second down. Stevenson sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. Second and one. Ball at the 41. Gibson gets it snapped directly to him, and will end up losing a bunch here. Number 49 dismantled that play by bringing down the quarterback for a loss of yardage. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Number 10 throws a beauty to the right side. And the ball is loose. And he stopped right there. Clipping. Number 94, defense. 15-yard penalty, first down. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. I'd call it an incompletion and overturn it. After review, the play has been ruled an incomplete pass. The receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. New England will not be charged to timeout. Fourth down. 
He likes the call and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Number 17 lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one to make the return. Number 17 gets the snap and punts it away. Number one, Fair catches it at the 15. The Redskins offense will start this drive at their own 16-yard line. Number 30 will take the handoff and gets past the line. Tackled at the 17. Number 30 powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep second that push eight. going for very long. Ball Not much there. It'll be second down. Yeah. Gotta take what you can get, Dan, but they were, they were hoping for more. Number five throws the pass, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Number 17 shows his coverage, man. The finer points of pass patterns, namely get away from me. I have the ball to catch. He really beat his man. That was bad coverage. Hey, he's just a great receiver, though. He knew where he had to be, and he was there. Peter, how's that for a way to start for a receiver? First pass out of the gates is a bomb, and he gets under it to make the catch. You gotta love it. Make the defense a little off guard from the good guy. Number 30, hauls in the pass, and tries to get free. Chase down at the 43. That was Number 30 has a nice catch there, but what really stood out was what happened post-catch. That little move there got him a few more yards. Nice job. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Number 8 will get the carry on first down and picks up a couple. Second down, Second one eight. man back. Ball at the 41. <laughs> Number 17 rips down the lob, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 17 made a huge gain and sailed past the markers before getting out of bounds. That's a big time play. A well designed play there, Peter, and they will move the. Coach Belichick doesn't agree with the call, and... Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, that, that's a catch, Dan. He's in bounds. This call's going to stand. After review, the play stands. The pass was complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. New England will be charged for timeout. First down. That will cost them a timeout, and you have to believe that he is not very happy with that call. First and ten. Ball at the 16-yard line. Number five throws it to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. And Peter, you have to figure deflection. that when GMs draft defensive players with a few extra inches to them, this is Second what they ten. have in mind. Yeah, you know, back in my day, you'd see guys 5'8", five 5'9", five back there. But again, that was back in my day. A different era, as you like to point out. <laughs> Number 30 catches it in the flat and picks up four on the play. Number five had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Number five. Really rifles this pass and pass it's tipped incomplete, yeah. incomplete. Oh, no. fourth down coming up Jones managed to disrupt things he got in there and he smacked that pass away great deal it seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Ruddle to be beautiful call by the deep coordinator it'll be fourth down they take the lead number 10 has little trouble pooching this one through let's see it again Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 10 kicks this one away. Thornton got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Patriots stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 19-yard line. 
Gibson down, gets the ball and picks up the first down. Gibson keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he followed his blockers. Without him, he wouldn't have gone anywhere. First and ten. Ball at the Patriots, 33-yard line. Number ten throws a heater right sideline, and the completion is good for six. Deshaun Polk had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. They move the ball, and it will second be and second three. down. Ball at the Patriots, 39-yard line. Stevenson picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Stevenson got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third down from the eye. Number 10 passes this one after the play action, and they convert on third down. Number 10 zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed. <laughs> what ball placement. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, and no trouble in getting the first. Number 22 gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball to Patriots, 49 yard line. Number 39 attacks him way back at the 44. Number 39 comes in untouched on this play and just wallops the quarterback. Hey, where was the O line, Dan? Did, did they just give up? Oh, that quarterback's going to be pointing fingers on that one. That'll be his first sack of the game. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Stevenson pitches it in the flat and is at the 50. Hunted down at the 43. It will be first down. Stevenson gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. And you can't leave anyone that open in the NFL or they will make you pay, baby. What a big play on third down, Peter. That's the His run after the quarter. catch is what made the play work. Yeah, Dan, you have to fight for those yards in that situation. And that's exactly what he did. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Redskins with a small lead, three to nothing. Way back at the 49. Number 59 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball right behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. No good, incomplete. Number one, did a beautiful job on that last play covering the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. That play had potential, but the defense had other ideas. They forced the incompletion and also forced a third and long. That's the perfect setup for the defense, Dan. Strong plays on first and second give you this kind of situation. Number 10, fires this one over the middle and caught. Well short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down. Seven yards to go. The Patriots will talk it over, and they take their second timeout. Number 17, Number 17 lines up for the punt. Formation. Number one to make the return. <laughs> Number 17 takes the snap and punts it away. Wade fields the punt at the three. The Redskins have been locked in a defensive struggle so far. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Number 30, picked up about seven, and that will bring up second down. Number 30, played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Tackled at the 30. 
Number six. Brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. Third and inches. Ball at the Redskins, 30-yard line. Number eight has his number called on third down and can't convert the third down. It'll be fourth down. Number eight targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They come up with the big play and on third and short, they forced the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused a loss of yard. What a time to come up big. Number five gets the ball and punts it away. Thornton takes it at the 31. Stop at the 35. The Patriots had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 35-yard line. Stevenson took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more. Number 84 catches it left side right and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 84 has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. And Peter, that time, neither of those guys really had a height advantage on the other. Yeah, and sometimes when you find yourself locked in a matchup like that, it simply becomes a question of who wants the ball more. Advantage offense there. Stevenson takes it across the line and heads out right, tackled hard at the 37. Second down with Second a split backfield. Ball at the 37. Stevenson gets the ball again and heads up field. Drag down at the 33. First down. First down, Patriots. First and 10. Ball at the 33. Number 10 throws a bullet to the flat, and the it is, is not reeled in. Incomplete. Number, Number 13 the put the brakes on that play without Number any help. Man, he had that zone cover. locked down. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Touchdown, Stevenson Patriots. makes the catch out to the left, and that's a touchdown. Stevenson catches this one easily with no one around to stop him. Where was the defense? Well, they were nowhere on this play, which made that an easy catch. That's his first Number touchdown of the day. Yeah, and I think he's a guy you Number can count nine, on to make four. those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. The extra it's point good. Is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 37 booms a beauty here. Number one decides to take it out of the end zone. Breaks a tackle. Stop at the 21. Number one took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Redskins could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 21-yard line. Five throws a bullet to the flat, and he's on target for a gain of five. Number 23. Number 30 made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. Another great catch, and Peter, he's been working that right side of the field with good five. success. Yeah, it looks like he's found a weakness, and uh, he's going to exploit it. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number 90, crush it. Number 90, keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. Third down with the tight end right. Oh, I 
love watching great plays like this again. It's great the first time around, but it's really sweet on the replay. Oh, I just can't get enough of this action. What a tremendous display of athleticism. First and ten. Ball at the Redskins, 31-yard line. Great. Has his number called on first down, and will gain close to six. Number nine with the tackle. Second down, Second just four. a single receiver on the field. The Redskins, 37 yard line. One man to beat. <laughs> Tackle, and the Pats will continue to run. That will bring up first down. Number five does a little last minute razzle dazzle here, and he gets some yards. Number 17 catches it in the flat and he's looking for room. Locked down at the 36. Number five got a lot of protection from the O line there, baby, which gave him second time to throw. They move the ball, ball the and it will be second down. Second down with three receivers to the left. Number five throws this on a rope Passes and incomplete. it's knocked down at the line White incomplete. White swatted that pass away right at the line. That'll give us a third down, and the defense was ready for that call. Well played, and a good job of not giving up the short pass. Number one grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. First down, First and, and this will be the Ball eighth the play of the drive. Tackle, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. Number five spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Everything goes right here. The interception, the yards he gobbles up afterwards, and the icing on the cake, the touchdown, baby. You can't coach that kind of playmaking. Shoot the gap! Shoot the gap! Here's the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Patriots enjoying the lead 14 to 3. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN halftime report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody. ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Redskins look great on the stat sheet, but they're behind on the field. They might have to change their approach. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 10 connected with his man on this one. Redskins later on in the first, number 5 would find his target on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Pats answering right back. Pats down by three. Number 10 is going to find his man out of the backfield, and the defense just can't react in time. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by four. 
Redskins last play of the half, number six, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Patriots. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins are down at the half, 14 to three. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Stevenson has been unstoppable. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in Number surround sound technology. The, the Redskins get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 14 to 3. Let's go down to the field. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Not a lot of efficiency there. And when they do score, you can see that it's the field goal variety. They need to punch it in if they want a shot. The Redskins offense has to score here. This drive will start at their 32-yard line. Number 30 takes his fourth carry of the game and gains about three yards. Number 90 with the tackle. Number five throws a big pass. It's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Number five, roll the dice by targeting a receiver with two defenders near him. Let the pass click, then they'll move the ball. They make a completion, but their short game doesn't seem to be worth the time they're investing in. Well, even when they finally do connect, it's not really moving the ball. They need to think bigger. Number seven, catches this one and gets past the markers for a first down. Number seven has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. A lot of short completions like that today, Peter, where they get stopped right uh, soon after the catch. Yeah, if you can't make anything happen after the catch, those short throws are useless. First down, one man back. Number nine blasts him back at the 35. Number nine targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle second so far. Ball at the 35. <laughs> Number seven didn't that haul that incomplete. one in and it falls Number incomplete. Intended receiver. Number six was on that Number fly six. ball on that last coming? play like glue. Man, he knew where the pass was going and he stopped it. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Wait. The Patriots are one guy short on the line, but it turns out they don't need him. Three is plenty to get the job done. Check it out. Ouch. Oh, they got through anyway. That is determination. They pushed them back even farther. And Peter, could this fourth down get any longer? Well, theoretically, yeah, but it's plenty long enough already. Return. The Patriots come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 20 yard line. Stevenson chews up four yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the Patriots, 24 yards. Gibson takes the snap and runs into traffic. Number 13 sacks him way back at the 19. Number 13 came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 10 throws this one right side line and it's off incomplete. Number 84 didn't have anybody on him and yet he couldn't make the catch. Peter in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, a third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 17 takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. The Redskins offense takes the field and they will start at their own 29 yard line. Number nine sacks him back at the 25. 
Number nine, drop the quarterback like a sack lunch behind the line. <laughs> That'll cost him a few. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second down Second from the shotgun. Ball at the Redskins, 25 yard line. <laughs> Catches the bullet out left, and he's just barely past the markers for a first. Number 86 faces double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. They had him covered well, but he was still able to make the catch as a great receiver. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Number 30 loses Number 30, one on the play, the and that brings up Number second down. With the tackle. Number 92 targeted the ball carrier second early and didn't even let him get back ball to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop line. to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number five oh, makes a play on this oh, one oh, and forces the incompletion. Number five has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get 142 yards and no touchdowns. Third down, two receivers to the left. Ball at the Redskins, 38 yards. Number five rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Five, Fourth down deflection. coming up. Number five swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver Number didn't five, have a prayer in getting that one. A nice defensive Fourth play will return. give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great lead. Number five gets ready to punt this away. Number five takes the snap and punts it away. Thornton fields the punt at the 23. Thornton did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Patriots stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 36-yard line. Number 10 throws a heater right sideline, and it's intercepted. Number 13 picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him, man. I hope his mom's got the VCR going. That touchdown will bring them within striking distance of the lead. Yeah, big points, Dan. They did exactly what they needed to then. Now the point after, and it's good. point is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10 kicks it off. Thornton fields the kickoff at the two. Breaks a tackle. Tackled at the 28. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. The Patriots have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 28-yard line. Stevenson dodges this one way out right and will gain close to six. Second and four. Second down, four yards to go. Number 10 zings it to the right side and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, Patriots. Number 10 throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. And why not? He's had success there. First and 10. Ball at the Patriots, 43 yard line. Payne chases him down and gets the sack at the 40. Payne fell down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum there. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Stevenson carries this one off to the right and maybe picks up one on the play. Third down, one man back. <laughs> Douglas brings down the lob left side and they get the first on third and long. 
Number 10, gambles big time on this play, and it works. Makes it a little more exciting to watch, too. Oh, if he wasn't accurate on this throw, it would have been an interception. It's a real fine line. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific First day so far. You bet so far he's got 134 yards and one touchdown. Gibson carries it for the third time and rambles for about five. Allen with the tackle. Number 59, that's this one at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Number 59, read the play beautifully, smacked that ball down as soon as it got to within reach. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 10, unloads this to the right sideline, and it's knocked away from the receiver, incomplete. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew That's is so good at capturing quarter. every week. Great job, guys. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Patriots are out in front, 14 to 10. Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. Number 37 launches the 52-yard attempt and can't quite get enough leg behind that one. Number 37 is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch this. Well, he'll want to redeem himself after that. Question is, will his coach trust him with another long one next time? The Redskins send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 43-yard line. Number 23 penetrates and stops that back at the 41. Number 23 not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it too. Big hit. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the second half. Well, he's making him think twice before going his direction. Number 30 gets the call on second down and picks up eight yards on the play. And four. Ball at the Redskins, 49 yards. Number five, rifles it out left side and they convert on third down. Number 86 does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. A nice game, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Number eight gets the call on the first down and chews up about four on the play. Number five with the tackle. Second down from the eye. Number five throws a bullet and the ball is caught at the 28. Brought down hard at the 24. It will be first down. Second and five. Ball at the 19. One man to beat. Flags down at the 13. It will be first down. Number five. Improvised on that last play by scrambling to freedom. And he gained a few yards while he was at it. First down with the tight end right. Number one goes in motion. Number 95 stops that one way back there at the 18. Number 95 came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. That's his second tackle so far. Number five throws this one to the end zone and it's off incomplete.
Number six, Number closed seven. in from the zone and forced the incompletion. That's incomplete, the and the defense keeps the points off the board. Perfectly Third played, great call by the defensive All coordinator. Third down coming up. No dice, and it falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Jones was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. It was third and very long, and it didn't look too hard for the defense to stop that play right in its track. You know, Glenn, that's what pressure on first and second down will get you. You push them into a hole, and then it's hard to climb out. Or down ahead. It's through the uprights. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10, rockets this one deep. Thornton decides to take it out of the end zone. Eventually tackled at the 31. Thornton could have played it safe with the touchback, but he had a monster run out of the end zone back there. You can't coach that. The Patriots, offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at the 31-yard line. Number 10 gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 147 yards and one touchdown. First down, 10 yards to go. Stevenson catches Stevenson it over the middle the and picks up four on the play. With the tackle. Stevenson took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. He reels in another one today. I wonder what they put in his Second oatmeal this morning. <laughs> Probably the passing oh, playbook. <laughs> Number 10 throws a bullet here. Oh, and down. it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Douglas reels in the catch despite being covered by two defenders. Dan, I guess he just can't be intimidated. Check this out. Oh, yeah, it's all about being focused. He had his eye on the ball the whole time, and he knew where he had to be. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Stevenson finds first the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. It's the sack and the clock. The Redskins take their first time out. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.55. Number 22 will get the carry on sack. The Redskins will take a time out. That's their second. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number 10, zips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. The passing play didn't work out, Dan, and with the incomplete, the clock will stop. A double whammy against the old beer. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 37, kicks from 37 yards out, and this one is up and in. Number 37 sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Oh, and we're ready. Number 37 booms a beauty here. Number one downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 1.42. Number 17, pulls down the floater, out left, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number five, threaded the ball back there to his man, right past all that traffic. Good job. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. First down, one man back. Number five throws this one over the middle, and oh, the ball is caught at the 28, and he stopped right there. First down. Number 
for five. Spikes the ball, and that will stop the clock. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Number five throws this on the rope. Anthony connects at the 16. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. That will bring up first down. Number 17 had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. Number 34 makes the catch. Touchdown! Number 34 has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. That touchdown will give them the lead late in the game. What a play. You've got to love it. Now the extra point, and the extra point it's good. Is good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 10 rockets this one deep. Thornton downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots start this drive of the game from well in their own territory. And the clock at 38. Number 10 lobs this one way over the middle. And the catch is made. The Patriots take their first time out. First down. The clock is stopped at 30. Ball at the 48-yard line. Douglas brings down the floater and gets the first. He's out of bounds, and that will stop the clock at 25. First down, two wideouts on the field. Ball at the 24 yard line. Number 10 unloads this one off to the left, and it's incomplete. With the deflection. Second down. The Second clock is stopped at 20. Ball at the 24-yard line. Tackle at the 14. Number 13 knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air reception. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. Well, this game is already over, Dan. Even though the D can stop the clock twice, there's so little time left that it doesn't even make a difference. will do it for That's tonight's the game. The Redskins come out on top 20 to 17. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Redskins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number five would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Pats on D, number 13, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Touchdown for the Redskins. The Pats, after getting an interception, Pats ahead by four. Number 10 would find his target on this one. The Skins back on offense after a missed field goal. Number 10 is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Three goods equals three points. A 36-yard field goal. Skins losing 14 to 13. After driving 49 yards on seven plays, number 37 would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 38-yard field goal. The Skins trying to answer back. Number five is back, 
He's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver. He hits a 36-yard play that set up a Redskin touchdown. Pats behind by three. Number 13 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins edge out a win, 20 to 17. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number five is standing by with our Susie Colbert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You were fantastic, and you won a close game today. What put you guys over the top? I think our linebackers were the spark plugs for the whole team. Nobody wants to win more games than these guys. They put their bodies on the line every down, every play for the sake of this team. They should get a lot of credit for this win. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.